Well, today I'm going to show you how to make your BMX or similar hub. I know it's dirty, I haven't cleaned it in a while. Louder and have better engagement. Pop your nuts off. Okay, as you can hear, I already have this modification installed, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So, first, you're going to need to remove your driver. You just kind of work it loose and then you can uh you know slide it off so now let me give you a closer look here you're going to want to take some q-tips and kind of clean out your hub area just as much as you can right now i have a lot of spring pressure on each paw which will increase wear because there's more friction going on inside inside the hub so you have to keep that in mind like if you're if you're wanting longevity out of your rear hub this may not be the best thing for you but if you have constant slipping issues or for whatever reasons you just want to make your hub louder, a lot of people like really loud hubs. A quiet hub is nice for when you're riding around where you probably shouldn't be. But a loud hub is kind of nice to let people know you're coming. So there's pros and cons to both. Just pop another C-clip in there. And depending on how your pawl system is set up, you just literally put it in the middle of all of your pawls. You, know, you just pop it in there. I'm not going to put another one in there because I already have, I have two of these in there already you want to find the slot where that little end um, kind of locks into you'll be able to determine because it'll be an extra slot where there won't be a pawl you do want to make sure and put a light lubricant back on you don't want to put a grease on because that that's going to make it to where it slips uh, but put a light lubricant like um like an oil inside here just so you're not like rubbing you know bare metal on bare metal that's just going to make you accelerate your wear even quicker than you will be with this extra spring. I really like this Lucas chain lube. You know, it's actually specifically for chains and sprockets. So, you know, I put it on my chain and sprocket as well, and it seems to stay on. It makes things really smooth. Yep, that bike just phantom fell over there. This is a stock sounding hub. This is a good comparison. Sounds pretty good and nice and clean. Uh, let's compare it with this. Get this thing going. Okay. Shout out to me for making these valve caps out of 300 blackout casings. So one thing that this might actually cause for some users, um, I experience this occasionally now, is ghost pedaling. Right there. See it? Now that can throw you off. So if you're if you're doing tail whips and stuff, I don't recommend this. Another thing that you're gonna experience is when your feet are on these pedals, you are gonna feel each individual click. So if that sounds annoying to you, this modification is not for you. I'm just getting everything out of the way so you know exactly what to expect when you perform this modification. And it's a very simple one and you can reverse it if you don't like it. But uh, I do recommend trying it out if you have any kind of slipping issues or you just want a loud ass hub and you want people to, you know, look at your bike or whatever. Have a good day. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.